What's up guys? So today we're going to look at this tritone scale warm-up idea. So what the tritone scale is, is when you take two major triads and you play them a tritone or a flat five apart, or, or three whole steps. One, two, three. So instead of jumping way up there at the ninth fret, we would take that down and do it at the, at the fourth fret. Okay, let me turn my guitar on. Okay, but then what we do is we take the notes of those two triads and organize them alphabetically into a scale. Okay, so we get... Okay, so what we're doing there so we're going to play one, three, four, and then two, four, five. And then we take that, so if we're thinking about this as tablature, it's a little more complicated, honestly. But uh, let me just walk through that. So one, three, four, two, four, five, three, five, six, four, six, seven, six, eight, nine, seven, nine, ten. Right? So. To me, that's way more complicated to remember all those fret numbers to try to think of it that way. What we're really doing is we're kind of starting a minor scale, right? We're playing root two flat three on F and then B. So this is a really familiar shape for most of us. Finger pattern, if you will. And if you're just thinking about moving that from root to root as it relates to the, the chord of the scale, you know, F, B, F, B, F, B. It's a lot simpler of a process versus trying to make sure you're hitting those right fret numbers. So try to, you know, more and more think about notes and intervals. Also seeing the flat five and then the octave and then how that shifts when you jump up to... And we have that extra little jump there. So that's what's happening on the left-hand side. And what we're going to do when we actually play the example is just we're going to ascend and then descend each position. So the way that our hand's gonna have to move, it's gonna be index, ring, pinky, shift up a string, shift up, ship up a fret, and then the same three fingers again. But then we're gonna use the ring finger and the middle finger to, to finish that little cell, that descend. And then we jump up, one, three, four, uh, four, six, seven, and then descend again with the ring in middle. And then I'll make that same jump on the index finger. Okay. Um, I've taught this to a couple people and I, and I see them want to jump on the middle finger because it's closer, but then you're kind of um, really putting a tight spot trying to get those that fingering worked out and make it smooth versus just kind of putting the extra little effort in on that shift and being able to just use the same fingering one more time. All right, and let's talk about the picking real quick. So it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna keep it alternate picking. And if you get caught up at all, or have, have difficulty with the string change, make sure you've got the correct, you know, I'm exaggerating there, but the correct slant for the change so that you have the minimal chance of getting caught up on the string. And that's usually the problem. And if that's uh, confusing to you, then we'll talk about that in another video. All right, so now I'll play this with the track, and just make sure you guys go grab the tab files in the MP3 and uh, practice along. Alright guys, so thank you so much for being here. Thanks for subscribing to my Patreon. Let me know what you want to see in the next lesson, and I will do that. See you then.